Hey, you guys. Hello, hello. So, um, I'm going to try to make this video a little quick. You guys, sorry about the TV. You guys, um, it's a little late with me recording. I usually don't record this late, but I want to remain consistent. So, today we're talking about perseverance. And I'm going to be reading from James chapter 1, 1 Chronicles 16, 11, and Galatians 6, 9 through 10. And I'll link, um, excuse me, because I got to get some water. I'll link some of the other perseverance scriptures below. But literally something before I came on here, literally one thing, like I want to say maybe 45 seconds ago, that came to me with perseverance is a seed. And we talk about that a lot, but I mean like a little seed that you, you know, put in the ground and how that seed, even if it want to give up, it can't give up because there's so much inside of it that needs to come out. Like, like we were talking about the other day, like with the seed, it's like it can just it's a seed within itself. It's a seed. But for in order for it to grow to like its fullest capacity, it has to be going through the buried stage, through the planet stage, through the <clears throat> the different seasons, through the hot, through the cold, through the sun, through the rain. And that's how it's going to grow. Time, process, harvest, you know. So that was a word like. <clears throat> you can't give up it's too much in you to give up it's too much more ahead like you know you just gotta keep going because what god has put in you is great it's incorruptible not just physically but spiritually and different things so definition of perseverance is um persistence in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success <clears throat> and synonyms are persistence tenacity determination resolve resolution Staying power, patience, endurance, application, <clears throat> excuse me, you guys, diligence, dedication, commitment, steadfastness, assuity, stamina, um, stickability, continuance, and different things. So, you know, like whichever synonym stood out to you, like hold fast to that and what God is saying to you as it relates to persevering, if it's physically or mentally or emotionally or spiritually or any area like financially or in relationships you know choose to say i'm a persevere not give up or give out because usually like when you feel like that it's something that was coming that was going to be like a breakthrough or something or another level so yes so james 1 says james a servant of god and of the lord jesus christ to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad greeting my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith work of patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing or lacking nothing. So being like perfect and complete and lacking nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that give it to all men liberally and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, not wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Let the brother of low degree rejoice in that he is exalted. But the rich in that he is made low, because as the flower of the grass he shall pass away. For the sun is no sooner risen with the burning heat, but it wherewith the grass and the flower thereof followeth, and the grace of the fashion of it perish. So also shall the rich man fade away in his ways. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. And I'm going to keep reading. Um, we're going to read verses 13 to 27. But it's like how many people like right before the promise, they give up and they give up. That's not for everybody. Like how many people... You know, if they would have just trusted the Lord and stayed on the Lord path instead of taking the wrong path, like that had cost them their whole life. That cost them eternity. Like you can't take nothing with you from this life into the next life, like materialistically speaking. And you know something, thank you, Holy Spirit, like nothing that you have to give up your soul for is worth your soul. Only Christ who and with, with Christ you don't lose your soul. You gain life. He preserves you. But like people, it's like they when they give up 
when they, you know, give into this world or the devil or riches and fame and different things of this life of this world and they don't choose God, it's like that's not worth their soul. Like you settling for something temporary, but you're going to have to suffer for it for eternity. So it's not worth it. And then some people are like, well, going through certain trials and storms and tests, okay, temporarily for God, but for eternity, you're going to be at peace. You're going to be happy. There's not going to be no more suffering, no more tears, no more pain, none of that. So it's like, do you want to be with God through good, bad, and ugly? But you know God got you and you know it's going to be okay. And then in eternity, it's going to be better. Or it's like, like other people, like some people like, do you, do that person want to choose like death and destruction and ups and downs in this world? But the devil's over them. And then when they get to hell, that's going to be eternal torment. Like it's like. This just really stood out to me. This blessed is the man that endured temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. So 13 says, let no man say when he is tempted, I'm tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust has conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Do not err, my beloved brethren. Every good and every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Of his own will beget he us with the word of truth, that we should be of kind of first fruits of his creatures. Wherewith, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. And that could be a part of perseverance as well, because of you. Like, work that principle. I don't know who that word is for. It's like, work for all of us, but I don't know specifically who that's for. It's like, that could help you to persevere. Because maybe sometimes you need to listen more, or you need to hear more, or you need to know when to speak and not to speak. Okay, so the wrath. For the wrath of men worketh not the righteousness of God. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. But be ye doers of the word. And not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in the glass. For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, hearer but a doer of the word, this man shall be blessed in his deed. If any man among you seem to be religious and bridle not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, that man's religion is vain. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world. So let's close out, you guys. I need to drink some tea. Let's close out with uh, 1 Chronicles 16 and 11. It says, seek the Lord in his scrum, seek his face continually. You can read that in full context or check out our um, Chronicles or Galatians series fully, like the Bible studies on them. But that's a part of perseverance also, that you seek the Lord in his scrum, like not your own, not my own, but his scrum. And seeking his face continually, that helps you to persevere because like God's joy and scrum will be your scrum. Like it's to get whatever you need in his presence. You lack nothing in his presence. The lack begins to come when, you know, you get yourself out of the presence and start depending more on you. It's okay to be independent, but it's good to, it's better to be independently dependent on Christ. So Galatians 6, 9 through 10, because like, how could you go wrong with that? Like ultimate, the ultimate goal, like you can't go wrong with that, you know? So Galatians 6, 9 through 10 and let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall we shall reap if we faint not. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. And that's another area of perseverance when you realize, okay, I have to hang in here for me and be strong, but others as well, just like others got to hang in there for themselves, but it could be there for you as well, like relationships or just Christ community and different things so that's going to be um the end of that you guys I'm going to close out this video thank y'all for tuning in